Next program is ALP to perform division operation in uh, ARM assembly programming. Uh, that first line is a comment uh, beginning with the uh, semicolon. Uh, second line, leave some space. Area, the label of the area is division. It is a code type and it is a read only memory. Next line, export space underscore underscore main. We have to declare two variables here dividend and divisor. So, dividend is a um, uh, 23. So, it is defined as a defined constant data. 23 is given as a uh, without any 0x. So, it is a decimal 23. And divisor is DCD 5. So, we have to divide 23 by 5. So, we should get uh, 5 4s are 20. So, 4 is the quotient and uh, 3 is the remainder. So, this we should get. Uh, six, line number 6. I uh, started main program underscore underscore main without any space. Uh, next instruction is load R0, comma dividend. So, the uh, dividend 23 in hexadecimal is actually shifted to or uh, it is loaded to R0. But in R0, you will observe in uh, uh, corresponding equivalent hexadecimal load next instruction load r1 comma divisor so 5 is the divisor it is loaded to r1 register so next instruction uh, it is uh, udiv so there is no div so div is coming in uh, black color so unsigned division so udiv you have to give udiv r3 comma r0 comma r1 so the syntax of udiv is Destination register you have to write first. So R3 is the register which will hold the quotient if you divide R0 by R1. So format is U div R3 comma R0 comma R1 means division is taking by uh, R0 divided by R1. Okay, middle register R0 divided by last register, and the quotient will be stored in R3, and uh, remainder is ignored in uh, ARM card. RM because uh, in, if you take 32 bit uh, division and uh, to calculate uh, remainder you have to do a lot of process so it's, uh, it is not taken care of so you have to calculate manually what is the remainder so how to find the remainder Multi uh, you have to multiply uh, this uh, quotient you have to multiply the quotient present in R3 so here quotient is there in R3 after you do so that uh, that quotient you have to divide, you have to multiply with divisor. Okay, so you are going to get some answer that is R4. So now we are in order to get the what is the remainder, you have to subtract dividend minus this uh, multiplication answer, which is a product of quotient and dividend divisor so if you subtract you are going to get uh, the remainder so the answer is present in r5 so you can store you can verify r4 and r3 and you can verify quotient in r3 you can verify quotient in r3 after extra these two instruction you can verify remainder in r5 so that is uh, how to verify answer in registers if you want you can move that uh, uh, quotient and remainder to the location so you can declare area uh, you can uh, you can declare a result or something the result is the name of that area it is of type of data and it is read write so you can write into this so two variables are declared quotient and remind both are different constant data initially quotient is also zero remainder is also zero okay so here you can see after uh, this load R7 with the address of quotient that is is equal to quotient. Then after that uh, your answer quotient is in R3. That R3 you store R3 into address taken uh, address specified by R7. So R7 in the previous instruction it is loaded with the quotient address. So from R3 it is moved to that address. Similarly for remainder uh, get the address of this remainder in uh, R7 once again. Or you can use some other register also. Load R7 with the, is equal to or, uh, REM means it will get the address of uh, remainder location in R7. And store this R5. Now R5 is actually having a 
uh, remainder so store this remainder present in r5 into this uh, address now you can verify our answer in locations also so now i am going to compile this program so we are getting no errors and zero warnings okay so start debug by clicking this red color button as usual it is going to the startup file lpc17xx.s line number 131 which will load r0 is equal to address of main so it will get the address of our uh, division program underscore underscore main address and it will jump to that address it will come to our program now so now we are in our program division file so first instruction is what we already declared dividend as 23 divisor as 5 okay now uh, load r not with dividend so that is 25 is converted into hexadecimal and uh, hexadecimal 17 stored in r not next divisor uh, divisor is 5 so it is uh, loaded in r1 next after multiplication you can see u div r3 comma r0 comma r1 25 is divided by 23 is divided by uh, 5 and quotient is 4 that 4 is coming in r3 you can see r3 is highlighted in the register window r3 is coming uh, 4 0, 0, 4 so it is showing only quotient remainder is ignored here so uh, they are not taken care so you have to manually calculate what is the remainder for that you have to multiply this quotient 4 with the divide is 5 okay so if you multiply you are going to get 1 4 1 4 means actually 5 into 4 20 you are going to get 20 decimal in r4 after that subtract r not original number uh, divider uh, div uh, divide is uh, 23 23 minus 20 23 minus 20 you are going to get 3 as the remainder See, in r5 you are getting 3 as the remainder now here we can verify uh, uh, this is a uh, decimal in r0 17 is there 17 means 23 23 divided by 5 gives you r3 register is 4 is the quotient and r5 3 is the remainder so we can verify output here only now you can extend uh, this uh, optional 4 you can store that answer in uh, locations so get the address of quotient in r7 which is 1000 and store the r3 content here you can observe in the memory window in the memory window down right side you are getting 004 so in the next location we have to store remainder also so to get that get the address of remainder it is 100004 so in the next location it will store remainder what is the remainder see the out uh, memory window we are getting 003 in the output so this is about how to divide uh, do perform division operation in arm cortex thank you